from the Weather 225 DFW Storm Studios. This is a Weather 225 alert day. We're expecting severe storms across the Metroplex area today. I'll show you what to expect in this forecast, so stay tuned. But for now, we're expecting thunderstorms throughout the day. As you can see, we have the thunderstorm icons up with a little bit of sunshine peeking through at times. High of 80 across North Texas. Let's get to our lows overnight tonight. It's going to be chilly as we're expecting lows of around 45 with a few lingering showers and thunderstorms, mainly in the overnight hours, and those should eventually uh, push out as we get closer to dawn. So... Let's get to the overall severe weather risk today. We have a moderate 4 out of 5 from the Storm Prediction Center. This does split basically half of Dallas County. It includes a large portion of our eastern counties. Basically, the greatest severe weather threat is going to be just slightly west of I-35 and off to the east. As you can see in that enhanced area, don't get too caught up on where the exact boundaries are. If you're in that enhanced risk zone, you also need to be weather alert today because there is the potential for all types of severe weather. And we don't say this to create any fear. We don't want to, you know, overhype this to drop views or anything. But the conditions that are favorable today are supportive for the potential of a severe weather outbreak. And what that means is not only our typical damaging hail, damaging winds, and isolated tornadoes, this is going to be a little bit more substantial. We're talking the, the potential for strong to maybe even violent tornadoes, mainly for I-35 and to the east, the closer you get into that moderate zone, but that also exists in the enhanced zone, and even significant hail up to potentially 2.5 inches. So let's show you that tornado risk. And like I said, don't get caught up on the exact boundaries for this, but the significant tornado risk includes all of the Metroplex, and it increases the further east you go. So just because you're not in that red 15% shaded area doesn't mean that you're completely safe from these storms. I do think there's going to be a pretty substantial tornado risk here in the Metroplex. Again, we don't say that to draw up uh, fear that's unnecessary, but the conditions today, if this system... Uh, verifies it could be uh, a rough afternoon for North Texas so this is one of those forecasts that it's the ones that we'd like to bust uh, but you need to be aware of the threat today because it is in place there is the potential for maybe like I said some significant tornadoes in the Metroplex and areas east so that's a look at that let's show you uh, the hail risk today again significant risk exists for I-35 and to the east that's for the risk of uh, 2.5 inch hail uh, in in diameter uh, so we're watching that and then of course damaging winds there is a fairly significant uh, risk for that as well mainly for areas along I-35 to the east and that is for 70 to potentially 80 mile per hour winds especially in the evening when we have a line of storms form and then finally here's a look at that significant tornado risk and we're showing you this because that highlighted area is in the, is uh, indicative of a significant tornado risk, and the Storm Prediction Center usually issues these significant hashed areas when there is conditions supportive of EF2 plus uh, strength tornadoes, and they've highlighted basically the entire Metroplex and areas east. So again, we don't say this uh, to overhype. Uh, we don't want to underplay this because there is a pretty substantial risk in the Metroplex. And we just think that you need to be aware today because these risks are in place. And uh, it's just one of those days that you need to be weather aware. So here's a look at the future cast radar for this afternoon. We're going to put this into motion. As you can see, this is the early to mid-morning hours. And then that activity starts to increase by the time we get to noon. Notice all these little isolated cells. This is what's going to be the biggest concern for that large damaging hail threat and even the tornado threat if we get discrete activity that means the potential for more significant severe weather uh, as we move on as you can see in the, the afternoon we have more of those uh, supercells that make their way into the area roughly around three or four o'clock today those are also going to be capable of large damaging hail and even a few tornadoes and then look at this we're going to have a line of storms these could also be uh, broken up into uh, small segments that are kind of linear. So if those are a broken line of storms, then that would also pose a large damaging hail, tornado, and even damaging wind risk. Uh, primarily, if we get this line, it'll be a QLCS tornado event, which means quick spin-up. So 
we got a lot to do today. we got a lot to watch. It's going to be an active afternoon and evening, so like we said, make sure that you stay weather alert. Storms begin to move through into the evening with that linear mode, and then they will be well off to the east by at least uh, midnight tonight. So that's a look at what we've got going on there. Here's a look at updated timing as well. We know that this forecast is gonna be a little bit longer than our typical daily forecast, but we just uh, think that everyone needs to know about this risk, the timing, what all to expect. Uh, 3 to 6 p.m. basically for areas to the west is the timing for the more substantial severe weather, uh, 4 to 8, and then eventually 6 to midnight further to the east. Finally, we, we arrive Excuse me, to the seven-day forecast. As you can see, weather alert day today, pretty much everyone's going to see some type of rainfall today. Not everyone's going to see a tornado. Not everyone's going to see the significant severe weather, but there is a high enough risk that you need to be aware today. Don't downplay it. Don't think that just because you're in the orange or the yellow uh, storm prediction center zones that you're completely safe. Uh like, we, like we've said in previous forecasts, Mother Nature does not abide by our forecasted boundaries. There can be storms outside of it. And so we just want you to be aware that there is a threat. It is concerning. And uh, just to be completely safe, make sure that you are weather aware, have ways to receive alerts, and of course, download the free Weather 225 mobile app today. If you're worried about this setup, we know weather's scary. We know that we've used some big wording. We know that there's been some scary sounding forecasts, but... Uh, all you have to do today to ease the fear is make sure that you have a plan. The more that you are prepared and aware, you are going to be completely fine. We'll get through this. And uh, just, to, just to show you uh, what to expect after this, once we get through this system, we're expecting a beautiful weekend on the horizon with highs in the low to mid 70s. So we'll get through this, have a plan, have a way to receive warnings, and we'll be uh, perfectly fine. And uh, one more thing before we leave the seven day, take a look at those winds for tomorrow. They are going to be pretty significant. So uh, we have also pretty uh, stout winds tomorrow. So we're going to be watching that, then a beautiful weekend. And then eventually by next week, it's kind of a broken record pattern. It looks like we're going to have uh, general shower and thunderstorm chances at least once a week during uh, pretty much a similar time frame. So more rain chances are on the horizon for Wednesday. So like I said, download that free Weather 225 mobile app today. You yeah, have access to all of our forecasts, live radar, alerts, and more. So make sure you download that. Uh, also, give our friends at MyPro Construction and Roofing a call or click today if you need repairs to the roof of your home or commercial building, need a new roof, skylight. They do a million cool things, you name it. So give them a call or click today and refer Weather 225. Have a great day, North Texas. Stay tuned for weather updates with us here at Weather 225. Stay tuned to our live weather channel and make sure you download that free app and follow us on our social media. Whether it's sunny, stormy, or snowy in North Texas, be sure to download our free Weather 225 mobile app. Sun, rain, blistering heat, freezing cold, and Texas storms can damage the roof on your home or commercial building. For a free inspection, call the experts at MyPro Construction and Roofing. They're a DFW-based platinum preferred roofing contractor with Owens Corning and Tilcor stone-coated steel. Fully insured, ask about the MyPro difference. Due to recent storms, MyPro has boots on the ground ready to help you. For a free roof inspection, go to MyProConstruction.com. For